Hi guys, Techstuff here and today I'm going to show you how you can possibly fix your Radeon R9 370X graphics card. So this model is from my friend and he had some problems with it to the point where he couldn't even boot into Windows 10 without entering safe mode and also had some weird artifacts um, as you can see I will show it here for just a few seconds. On his PC these artifacts would be a little bit different, there would be green stripes everywhere and I just tried to completely uninstall the drivers with DDU and reinstalling the new drivers or old drivers, I tried both, but the GPU would just freeze during the installation so I decided to take the GPU with me and see if it works in my PC or not and yeah the result um, was almost the same. I could boot into Windows 10 but I still had the artifacts. So first thing I did was clean the GPU because as you can see it's pretty dirty and I also wanted to put new thermal paste on it but yeah that it kind of came something so as you can see now I'm just removing the screws on the back and after I'm done with that I'm removing the connector with the pins on the front. Pro tip if you're filming then you might want to remove the connector on the front first because it's, pre it's much easier if the blade fans are still hold in place with the screws. And when you put the card back together, make sure that you screw the screws down tightly so that it has good contact because on this card they were just a little bit too loose for my um, comfort so I just screwed them down more. So yeah, as you can see now I removed the screws, I removed the pin connector and yeah now I can remove the fan and yeah as you can see there's still some thermal paste on it not as much as it would be perfect but yeah I just I didn't record that I wanted to put new thermal paste on it but when I realized that I forgot where I put my new thermal paste that I had bought for my new PC when I did build it like four or five months ago and yeah so that wasn't an option so try to fill the empty spots that were on the GPU and after cleaning it and spreading the thermal paste a little bit I put the graphics card back together then I tried it in my gaming PC and to my surprise it worked I mean I basically just had to install the newest drivers and this time it wouldn't even freeze during the installation which is pretty good. I was quite surprised since I didn't even think that it would be the case that this would work because it's just a lot of dirt that was in there but yeah. So then I tried playing some games with it, some newer games also like Far Cry New Dawn, Ace Combat 7, Apex Legends and some others like Resident Evil 2 and I will also show some benchmarks of these games. So in Ace Combat 7 I got pretty much over 60 FPS mostly in the 70s on the high setting and as you can see here are also the benchmark for Far Cry New Dawn and Resident Evil 2 as well as Metro Exodus on the lowest possible graphics setting at 1920 by So yeah, it's the card is still pretty good for playing games today now of course you have to dial down the settings a bit and for games like Metro Exodus it is really not recommended but for just some casual games like 
Apex Legends or many others, it's still pretty okay. The only thing that is a little bit bad is the noise that the card makes when it reaches 92 degrees. So the Radeon software automatically set it so that normally it's at 24% of the fan speed until it reaches 91 or 92 degrees and then it ramps up to 39% and it gets pretty loud. It's just a short sample of how that sounds when you're playing a game and are like about 30 to 40 centimeters away from the PC. So yeah, if you have an older graphics card or a graphics card that has been in your PC for a few years and you didn't clean it and maybe got some issues then yeah definitely clean it with some high pressure air and if it's getting too hot then also apply some new thermal paste to cool down the temperatures a little bit so yeah i hope this video helped you and if so then please drop a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more of this kind of content and yeah maybe also share it and yeah that's basically it i'm tech stuff see you next time bye